Pipedream is the fastest way to develop, test, and deploy workflows that connect APIs, databases, and run code all within a single serverless platform. Let's see how it works with a quick demo. This is a new workflow, and here is where we'll develop, test, and deploy this entire automation. Workflows can be triggered by webhooks, cron jobs, or even emails. Also, there are open source triggers for the thousand plus services that Pipedream integrates with. And if those don't fit the bill, you can build your own. Let's use the new item in RSS feed to trigger this workflow. We just need to provide the RSS feed URL and tell Pipedream how often we'd like to pull it. And that's it. Pipedream takes care of deduping and the polling schedule for us. Great, we can see it found several posts that mention Pipedream. Let's select one in particular so we can develop our workflow against it. Here's where we can easily inspect the data and even copy paths to specific attributes in this RSS post. Let's add another step to our workflow. Here, we can choose the Slack app, and then we can select the send a message in a public channel action. This action connects to our Slack account, so connecting just takes a few clicks. We will provide a channel for this message to be sent to, and then we'll design the message payload. When we click on the text field, you can see we could traverse through all the exported data from other steps, including our trigger. You can switch between using JavaScript and static text within any text field and pipe dream. So great, our account is connected, our message is designed, let's click test to see this in action. If we open Slack, we can see yes, in fact, our message was successfully sent. However, it's an HTML and it's not exactly easy to read. Let's modify this message so that's in Markdown for easier readability. Heading back to our workflow, let's add a new step after the trigger so we can transform this data. Code is the most flexible way to solve problems. And in Pipedream, code is a first-class citizen. You can reach for Node.js, Python, Go, or even Bash at any time during your workflow. Let's use Node.js for this particular data transformation task. As you can see, Pipedream generated some scaffolding code for us. And as you probably guessed, the run function is what's called when this step executes. The first argument is the steps. These contain the data that are exported from other steps in your workflow. So here we can access the trigger, which is our RSS item, and then we can see the attributes like the author, created at, timestamp, and the one we care about, which is the HTML description field. And for easily converting HTML into Markdown, I prefer an NPM package called Turndown. It just takes a few lines of code to import Turndown and then pass our HTML to it for conversion. You don't need to manage a package.json or requirements.txt, just simply import the package into your Node.js or Python code, and Pipedream will automatically bundle it for you. The final step is to simply swap out the input inside of our Slack send message step, and then retest. As you can see, making iterations and testing in isolation is embedded into the workflow development experience. And if you thought that was easy, take a look at deployments. Look in the top right, and we just click deploy to make this live. You don't need to worry about managing auto scale policies or handling bursty traffic. Under the hood, your workflows are running on serverless architecture that automatically spin up and down to meet the demands for your workflow. And that concludes our short tour of building workflows with Pipedream. But we're just really scratching the surface there's so much more tooling that enhances your productivity, like built-in key value storage, cloud file hosting, and even private VPCs for your workflows. You can go from prototype to production and all in one place with Pipedream.